Hey guys, Button25 here, playing Orbiter. Once again. And today, I'll be launching the Met Op 1 satellite from Baikonur. Using the Soyuz launch vehicle. I will be unable, I'm going to say, to speak during the initial state, during the first stage of the launch, because of the, the noise this sucker creates. And now we actually get to use this huge launch complex. Okay, uh, auto, uh, GPS, and pass the backup. Yeah, I don't think that's a safe place to have it, as I previously said. Okay, guys, I think from here on, for until the vehicle is supersonic, I won't be doing much talking. And cover your if you're using your phones. Uh, just a warning: this will be loud. Okay, so. I think in a few seconds, so 28 seconds until liftoff. First gun, first arm, um, gantry, whatever you want to call it, retracted. Second arm, um, Yeah, that's ignition. As a frigate. It told me not to time accelerate. I need to see if I can find some info on the satellite. So Okay, so um, in about an hour, give this button now. About an hour, the, the low density supersonic decel decelerator Hello? Boost your stop. Unfortunately, no colors cross. Well, this could be both met up A or B. Because okay, I thought it said September 21st. All oh, right, met up C has not even launched yet. <laughs> anyway, I think um. Unfortunately, as I said, no cordless cross. You can still see the launch complex. You can see the four boosters. There's this. This is the satellite. This met up. I don't even know what that stands for. I notice is it doesn't seem to have. Oh, does it? It does. Hmm. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. 
effects for the burn. Oh no, no, it does have effects for the burn here. It's the roll and control stuff. Don't. And then we'll take control of the frigate for the upper stage burn. So just going to say this is launching into a sun synchronous orbit thing. Where's the goddamn sun? There we is. <laughs> this is an 800 kilometer high orbit. I'm I'm certain we're in space. Yep, we're in space by one and a half. I'm sorry if that those engines are loud. No, this is actual audio from a Soyuz launch. So it is quite a good thing that those fairings separated. Because sometimes if the fairings don't separate, you can lose the spacecraft completely. Especially with a this type of launch vehicle, this or the Atlas V. Because here, if you, the fairing doesn't separate, you have very little time, if any, to see if you can do anything. Because you might not be in orbit. If you don't get that sucker off, because that's weight. I'm like, in case they do add weight, but the weird thing is, they add it to the base, so that, so it doesn't matter if. Oh, stage step. Engine activation. I have an angle spin that separates as well. The moment, it, the moment the other one does. It's this one that has no effects for the th thrusters. For the verniers. They are vernierist. Yeah, you can just see the the core of the R seven right there. R seven Soyuz. Uh, this is Soyuz two one A. I don't know. Let's see if I can find a mod for Soyuz two one V. Search Soyuz. 2.1 V. This is interesting. You'll see why if I can get if I can get you know one if I can find one for orbit. I'm sorry that I'm not saying much, but this is the block I. I think the core was the block A. I don't know. The I don't know the b the, bo the what the boosters are called. Highly doubt there, but it is there. Also, note I always thought the Soyuz was painted white, but it's not. It's actually kind of khaki. It's kind of this color, khaki, brownish, greenish, something, and it's actually and. The white is ice. You know, some people know that this already, but that surprised me.
Okay, so. Nothing much. Going on, the block I burn is progressing. No. <laughs> yep, wait to get your eardrums blown out. See, this will separate, then the faggot will burn. Okay. Get ready. You can see it does give you a bit of time to prep. Unfortunately, we missed the actual stage separation event, but you know how it goes. How is the goddamn fregate so loud? Navoya Zemla! We're flying over Navoya Zemla. The reason I'm saying this. The Voya Zemla is where Russia used to test some nuclear stuff. That's where we're at. That's where we're at with. I would so laugh if I could see my house. I can see my house from here. And not, you can see just the, the, the Baltic countries. Wait, what? 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 Oh no 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 no! Okay, done. Motion tag controllers. Yes, time accelerate. Time accelerate until we're ready to fire up these engines. By the way, oh gosh. Okay. Well, we'll get that sucker back to its controlled. Oh boy. Start to burn. Right on there. So. I'm sorry that this is in the dark. But you get a good view of the progress's blue and purple flame. <laughs> Always look on the bright. Side of life. Oh, um, look. I think four, like four of these are are fuel. The other two are avionics. I'm sorry if I'm making you guys go deaf. I just need to know when it's at the correct orbit. Still burning. We are now going to warp into the day. Wait for prog oh, progress. Jettison. And this is the weird part. To warp a bit further. Spacecraft is rotating slightly. Weird. Yeah, this has thruster fuel. Yeah, I told you this is slightly weird. I think. I think that's how the ray one deploys. I first thought maybe, but then I like no, I doubt it. I'm sorry, I just doubt that that's how it deploys. But that's um, whoever made this mod. Thank you for making it. See, I don't think it has like a bunch. Parts trailing behind it, but meh, good enough. Purpose okay, set to something else. Okay, rotates it. Purpose shift K. Okay. Oh. 
That was backwards. Boy, boy. Okay, I'm sorry, that's just too weird. Wait, maybe it just looks better. No, never mind. Anyway, that was met up. I'm Batman25. Goodbye. That's Madagascar.